Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to No Man's Sky Origins, and or welcome back if you've caught any of my previous series. So, I've been thinking about this long and hard, and I've decided, unlike what I usually do when I play these games, I, up until now, I've started over every single time I've played No Man's Sky, and that is awful for me. Uh, mainly just because the beginning of this game is very slow. Uh, this is a save that's about 10 hours in, and admittedly, I've played a bunch. Hello. Did I... Well, that's a thing. Let's see if I can find it. Is that it? No, then I need... Okay. I did not expect to find this and be... Oh, there it is. I didn't expect this to, to find this immediately. All right. Well, this is going to be a bit of a, a detour. Uh, anyway, instead of starting over, I'm just going to start from where I left off on the previous series. Don't worry, you're not missing too much unless you care heavily about the plot, at which point, if you do care about the plot, please go check out my previous series. It was fun. Uh, but it's just, this game is is too long and too grindy for me to want to repeat the process every single time a Hello Games comes out with a new patch, and trust me, they come out with a lot. And so easier for me to just kind of do new and interesting things when that comes out with, you know, a full complement ship, decent gear, and so on and so forth. Admittedly, I'm only halfway through that process. I do have the Void Egg. I should probably figure out how to hatch this. Anywho, uh, so what I'm going to do for this, for now at least, is I'm just going to continue where I left off and we're just going to have some fun instead of taking forever. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. How do I flashlight? Because we kind of need it. Toggle torch. That was, the torch was on. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Other thing we could try. Let's try first person for a little while. It might be easier for this. I've never been on a derelict before. There we go. So this should be kind of exciting. Okay. That is a finicky door. What do we got in here? I have no idea. No destination terminals available. Network reactivation required. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I I started a series on desolation and it ended because I couldn't find one of these. I, I flew around for an hour. Oh, docking door control. Okay. SS Useus XIX status. Severe incident. Total lockdown. Access denied. No crew life signs detected. Crew manifest in captain's log. May assist incident diagnosis. Cargo integrity 95%. Salvage and recovery likely. Access doors have been automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart required to begin recovery. Restart internal gravity. Warning. Gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environmental protections offline. Attempt, to m attempt manual generator restart. Restart hazard control. Unable to restore primary heat control. Protection against extreme cold temperatures required. Okay. Fabrication unit available. Access supply cache, unsealed door. Okay. So it looks like it's pretty cold in here. And I can't do anything about this. Alright, derelict freighters are dangerous environments full of environmental hazards and hostile entities. Locate valuable salvage as well as special items that can be exchanged, exchanged aboard a space station. Locate terminals with your analysis visor. Collect data from terminals to learn of the fate of the crew. Use the scanner to highlight loot within the current room. Claim highly valuable tech from the engineering corps. Okay, let's see if I can cheese this thing a little bit. It's a cover shooter. You just never would have thought. Clearly, I need to upgrade my weaponry if I'm going to want to do too many of this. Too much of this? I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's just start scavenging. Try and find some goodies. Let's see, might have a terminal near nearby as well that I should check for, but for now, eh. Okay. Doorway. Oh, fun. Eating unit. 
doorway. Is that the heating unit? Okay. Can I activate this? Yes. Okay, so I wonder if this just goes perpetually. I like that. That's a fun system. Yeah, I never really... Well, I probably talked about this a little bit. Here and there. But No Man's Sky with some dungeon crawling is actually going to be kind of rad. Okay, let's just scavenge a bunch of these. See if I get anything cool. Okay, I think... I think I've raided all of this, yeah? Yeah, I don't see any more. Well, this will give me some nanites. I will always need more nanites. There we go. <laughs> Something about those doors doesn't work right. It's okay. And yeah, don't worry, we will go down to actual planet stuff later. I just... I was not expecting to find a derelict within... A couple minutes of us starting here. Perfect nest awakens the infestation. Okay, I'm just gonna run around clearing out some of this stuff. I don't know if it awakens the infestation. If, if I don't get close, maybe I'm safe. Oh, there's something. And it's gone. Okay. I'm just gonna get a bunch of living slime here. I, I'm pretty sure living slime can be converted into... Okay, we need a, we need a heater. There we go. I'm pretty sure we can convert living slime into nanites as well. It's It's been a while, and I don't know, I forget a lot of stuff. There's too many games for me to keep track of in my head, and so, like, out of sight, out of mind. Maybe not the best policy, but, like, you try playing 50 billion video games on a given daily basis or weekly basis. <laughs> You're going to forget a lot of key details. I remember most of the, the major bits. There's always just that, like, episode one confusion where I'm like, I remember this, but I don't remember it enough. It's, I remember enough of this to not need the tutorial, but not enough. Ooh. Go to capsule. That's handy. Anything to do? Oh, that's just a helmet. Sort of. It's closed off. Beheadings. Creepy. Okay, log snippet. Monitoring and maintenance logs accessed. Event record follows. Data stamp 2984.6. Bulkhead failure in main engineering. Outcome maintenance crew dispatched. Data stamp, blah blah blah, crew distress call or crew distress call in coolant tanks. Outcome maintenance requested. Rampant quasi biological growth and pneumatic control. Outcome internal alert level raised. Yeah, so effectively the buggers just got loose. Started nibbling. I don't know how much of the lore I'm gonna read in here. Okay. Access for operations entity for Machudo Genetics. Transcribing audio. Need to get down there. When they tell us the truth. Trapped in here now. At least there's enough recording ends. Yeah. It's that hand sitting around. Freaky. Okay. Well, do I just clear this place out? We've got a lot of we got a lot of storage that I should probably scavenge through. Probably gonna just be money and nanites. And some other stuff. I'll take it. I could definitely do without my entire visor just becoming Ice Town. I guess let's hang out next to this until it's cleared out a little bit. No, it freezes up almost immediately. Alright, well, I hope you guys don't mind this visual effect, because I certainly do. Okay, let's get rid of that. What else we got here? I wonder if you turn on all of the heaters in here. If 
this room actually stays stable. Because we've got those heating units going. Right, what's this? Teleport teleporter terminal. Plus we've got records terminal. Let's check the records terminal, see what it's got for me. Records terminal access. Searching. Financial history encrypted. Ship log AI encrypted. Crew manifest accessible. Access crew manifest. Crew status of last shipwide bioscan 12 days ago. Commanding officer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Crew first class 99, second class 94. Supernumeraries. Convergence entity cull. Asteroid dig crew. Huh. Okay. Scanning ship for biological traces. Yeah, everyone's dead. Well, we can at least figure out where they might be. Crew manifests, okay. Document would be highly valuable to those concerned with the fate of the ship. Got it. All right. And we also have the teleport terminal. Can I use it? Ah, so we can teleport to the emergency airlock. But I don't need that right now. All right, let's just fire our way through. Hello. Yeah, there's little bugs that roll around. Okay, they are killable. It doesn't look like they actually do much, though. So I think I'm going to kind of ignore them. Because I don't know if they do anything. I, I think they're just more of an atmospheric thingamadoo. More than anything else. Okay, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to punch through. We'll see what we get. A lot of dead folks. A lot of ammo, hell yeah. Okay, grab this stuff. Bunch over here. Another log. All right, what's this one? Okay, unusual movement patterns. Yeah, so effectively they just got hit by whatever the flood, sort of. I would almost, hmm. It would be interesting if they hired, like, a bunch of writers. Who are you? Is this anything of any interest? Nope. Maybe, like, a bunch of writers or something to have a lot of stories to tell. Because I, I know they're procedurally generating a lot of this, but I've definitely played some games that have more interesting stories told. as you go through a procedurally generated environment. Maybe it's just that my st standards are higher as a result of, say, Halo. You know, this is very much kind of a, a Halo situation. Flipside, it would actually be really cool if if they... Because they have the, uh, the very specifically, like, written story of, you know, the main campaign. It'd be kind of interesting if they had like three or four more story campaigns with unique little things that happen or like overall plot lines. Uh, easiest example I can immediately think of is, you know, we've got all these like weird alien things. What if there was a, a sentience behind them? A... you know, a controlling entity that you you encounter more and more. The more of this stuff you do, you know, procedurally generated a little bit, but, oh, you know what? I'm going to bring some D&D &D into this. I have been designing a campaign lately uh, for the YouTube group that I'm part of, YouTube and Twitch, uh, called West Marches, where it's effectively a, a sandbox campaign. Uh, let's see. Huh, conclusion suitable candidate for an empathy a character. Okay. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? Right. So, it's effectively a, a sandbox campaign where you are put in kind of a, not an indeterminate area, but like a large region, and the players are just freely allowed to explore. There might be a plot, but for the most part, it's, it's kind of untamed land. There might be dungeons and so on and so forth to explore.
but otherwise it's it's nah, not really a static environment, but it's not railroaded in the same way that most D&D campaigns would be. Secure mainframe. Private mainframe access denied. Captain's DNA required to access personal log. Okay. Shipwide bioscans indicate severe incident status. Override available. Indicate captain's fate to begin. Okay, let's... There's the redacted area that we might be able to find. So does this... Okay. So this just lets me warp to the emergency airlock, yes? No. It lets me warp between all three, so I have to go in and out. Alright. Works for me. So I'll just read the log snippets till I find it. Okay. Personal data recording for Entity Lick. Blah, blah, blah. Keeps glitching out, showing places that aren't there. Thought we were free from this. Just open up and spilled everywhere. Just recording ends. Okay. Not the most useful. Security credentials. Navigator Og security ID. A strange mold festers where the face should be, bubbling as it consumes the holographic material. Last used 11 days ago. Alright, this is kind of freaky. I'm digging it. Okay, and I'd, I'd most deadly, definitely... Yeah, yeah. Data previously recorded. It'd be kind of neat if you actually had, like, a, a very temporary data pad thing where you could check out... I... You could actually look at... How would I describe it? Like, all of the lore that you've specifically found in the... In the area you are currently in. Oh, I'm getting cold. Ooh. There's a ladder down. I'll leave that for a second. I don't see any heat in here, so we should probably go back to this thing. There we go. Uh... Bah. Okay. Couple of things. But yeah, if I could just press, like, tab, for example, it would have, like, a, sp a special little tab that would pop up here. Oh. I guess it kind of does. Crew manifest secure mainframe detected. Use F. Engineering unit salvaged. Zones map 5 out of 9. Okay, there's a little bit there. It'd just be nice if I could see the lore, too, but it's fine. Anywho. West March's campaign. I feel like No Man's Sky would be really interesting with... They're called fronts. Uh, effectively, super obviously, there are forces in the world, in the universe, in the galaxy that will move as you move. And depending on your actions, they might, you know, say the flood expands, the the Corvax, you know, conquers a new world, the you know, the Gek fine increases their available, you know, resource stock and stuff. And having a game kind of respond in a procedural manner to your own actions. Uh, and so you could do that with storytelling in an interesting manner, to some degree, by slowly expanding how the NPCs and NPC threats would respond to your own actions. I feel like No Man's Sky would actually be the perfect way of handling that. Extract from Watch Officer's Daily Report, Discipline. Data stamp, blah, 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 blah. Anthony, blah, 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 confined to the brig for murder. Sentence, indefinite detention. Okay. The nice part is the door's just open for me at this point. Because I like how they have procedurally generated worlds and procedurally generated structures with their own little mini-stories that go inside. But it would be real interesting if they managed to actually have uh, more overarching stories as well. Infestation warning. Do not move while the nest is stirring. I see. So I got, I got too close. But that's fine. Okay, let's let's loot all of this stuff. But yeah, just seeing like a bunch of little mini campaigns that kind of pop up with their own little stories and events would actually be really cool within a within No Man's Sky, and I think it would fit the theme of this game incredibly well.
Maybe they'll do it. Who knows? I. It seems like they're kind of pushing in that direction. All right. AI output follows. Probe report for officer ignore use. Relative movements very high. Computer computation ability low. Internal body temperature very high. Marked for deletion. Okay, pretty sure. Nope, didn't already get that one. Well, if we're lucky, we get a fair bit of loot out of this. Tarnished goblets. Approximately 981 years old. What causes this artifact's owner to bury it underground? Do they hope to return it, return to claim it someday? Such questions may now never be answered. But like, imagine if I found that, for example, and it wasn't that such questions may never be answered. It actually had, like, a, an NPC might even notice me. You know, we get pulled out of uh, warp by pirates who want that artifact, and if we kill them or parlay with them or something, we find out more information, and then we can follow it down the rabbit hole for a little while. It'd probably get repetitive. It would be one of those that maybe only certain events would repeat very rarely. Expedition event log follows. Hailed trade freighter in Nix Nixayali Oi sector. Freighters seemed desperate to offload cargo. Purchased bulk tonnage of mineral salts at extremely low price. Did not ask further questions. Anticipated profit 300%. Arrived at Banayano system. Learned of chance to invest in hologram petting zoo business. Investment unsuccessful. Loss is substantial. Landed at station, blah, blah, blah. Offered minerals at bargain prices. Purchased. Minerals were a pirate booby trap. Exploded in the hold. Severe internal damage. So they bought a bunch of weird salts that they shouldn't have. And it turns out that that was infested. And so when the pirate booby trap went off, uh, it probably breached the salts. That's what I'm picking up and piecing together here. But, like, it would be kind of cool if you could actually, upon completing this freighter, it would actually give you a, a, a scanning frequency that you would just kind of look for very slowly of, you know, the freighter that offloaded the corrupted salts. And you could follow that for a little while and then find out that, yeah, there's this cabal that is transferring corrupted information or information, straight up corruption to other ships in an attempt to infest worlds and, you know, I don't know. I, I'm going to move away from this idea. It's just stuck in my head a little bit because it would be so cool. Partial cargo manifest follows. Omic gel, 94, cryogenic tubes, non-stick piston, recently excavated artifacts, 52 missing. Probably grab, grab these as I go by. I leave them there because they're cool, but there's actually, like, merit to that. Did I get this one? Personal data recording access for entity Iazayukush Engineering. Transcribing audio. They won't tell us, but I'm sure that barricaded inside that because they're burrowing through the walls there. Cause... Oh, there's a hell of a lot of sodium in here. Chair. I don't know why I busted that plant up. Poor plant. Okay, what is this? Engineering control. Generator failure detected. Fabricators on emergency power. Construct a component. Raider bulkhead. Deployable bulkhead extraction initiated. Cargo removal complete. Nano compression complete. Portable storage unit ready for collection. A tech module harvested from the remains of an abandoned freighter found floating in space may also be salvaged during frigate expeditions. Pre-packed pre nano expanders fell at this portable unit and grafted to an existing freighter, increasing its inventory capacity. Ooh. I like that. I think it, this is Dunsky. Yeah, power is drained. Nothing more here. Okay. I like that. Let's get the rest of this stuff. Eat this place. Yeah, it does seem like the more the more heaters I turn on, the less the rooms are are frigid ish. At least I can see while I walk around, which I'm appreciating.
Okay, so we've got heaters, heaters, heaters. Doesn't look like there's much else in here. So this is it for engineering. Now if I check... Tab? Okay, there we go. So we still got to find the captain's log somewhere. My bet is... He's in that one room that I haven't been in. Yeah, I already got that one. I'm going to be a little thorough. In looping back through here. Might as well grab the oxygen as I go by. There we go. This is such a cool system, though. I... I know a lot of people probably ask this over the course of this this series every time I play No Man's Sky. Is it better now? And the answer is actually yes. It is considerably better than when it launched. Is it still an amazing game? No, probably not. But is it a fun one? Yeah, I'd say so. Alright, I think I already looted some of these. If, if you're looking for a game that you just load up potentially with friends for X number of hours, uh, just to do something interesting, but kind of repetitive. This is about it. I put it on the same vein as most MMOs. Just the flavor is different. And no monthly fee. But most MMOs have moved away from that too. So that's a plus. Most of them. Not all of them. Okay. Pretty sure I already got that one. Okay. So yeah, probably should have just warped back. Uh, time to go check this. last room I haven't been in. Probably is the first room I should have gone into. Hmm. We didn't find the captain's section. Okay. Let's look this up. Yeah, redacted area. Where the heck would a redacted area be? Because I checked the crew. It hmm. Okay. I guess time to aimlessly wander for a little while. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I've been through everywhere. I think what we need to do... ...is just say deceased. Input accepted. Log will record Captain's fate as extinguished. Duty officer may take command. Authenticate as duty officer. Okay. Login as junior navigator Og Ogdig. Udg. Log will record you as temporary commander. Last significant entry from Captain Uker follows. Yeah, okay, this is what I was supposed to do. I was hoping to find the captain somewhere, but of course not. Anyway, Corvex Echo witnessed the great disconnection. One of few. The times of slavery, war, peace, all of them passed. I go to see the Gek. Data stamp 157.7. .7. All those I knew were melted to form Gek vessels. They enter the system and face our own. We have come to discuss our treaty once more. Data stamp... 1632.7. We meet within the shadow of a monolith. It's our way. We wait for a sign from the Atlas. We wait for a command to change. None comes. The Gek will postpone their decision once more. They will not return the medal of my friends. Not yet. Data stamp 1613.1. I go to see the Gek. We've come to discuss our treaty once more. Okay, so it looks like he was just trying to diplomacy? Question mark? Don't know. Alright. Well, I've been everywhere. I think we're done. I don't think there's anything left. And that's okay. This was a neat little... This was a neat little thing. I will probably do them as they go by. I don't know how much I'm going to go out of my way for it. But still. Alright, and find interested buyers on the space station. Alright. Well, we've still got a little bit of time before this episode ends, which is good. Because I really wanted to go check out one of these planets. Just a planet that I haven't been to before. 
Apparently what they did was any planet that you've been to already is unchanged. Any new planet that you've never been to will have a completely different setup. Different flora, different fauna, and much more dramatic landscape. No longer the, the really flat, boring kind of nothing, but actual ridges and mountains and volcanoes even? And that's really exciting to me, if we can find a planet that's worthwhile in that regard. A lot of these might be boring, we might have to fly around for a while before we hit a planet that's actually worth stopping at. And if that's the case, that's the case. It's what No Man's Sky is. There's ultimately, apart from the grind to get more resources to get better stuff, there's a little bit of story and a lot of stuff to just kind of aimlessly look at. And maybe that's alright. Speaking of completely meaningless planets, though, this one does not look like it's got a whole lot of stuff to it. Ooh. That looks like a falling star, though, but that looked close. No, that's just a bunch of sodium. I thought that was a crash site for a second. Man, it's nice looking. It's not what I'm looking for. Okay, what about this planet? Nope. I already discovered that one. Pretty sure I already discovered that one. What about this planet? Undiscovered. I'm gonna go check him out. It's gonna take a little while though. Okay, incoming message. What? It, what is... Oh! It's a living chip. We hear you, Traveler. We are connected. Your body is of ours. This craft is not like I've seen before. It looks alive. Its broadcast is pure music, yet I understand the melody making words in my mind. The void egg I acquired from the space anomaly begins to resonate in response. Continue to listen. The tones that had previously formed words now shift in form, modulating their music into a readable into readable navigation data. Coordinates have been registered to my starship systems. A Follow the call of the void egg. Looks like that's in a completely different zone. And we gotta get the Emerald Drive before I can get there, so that's gonna take a little bit of time. Hi, what the hell? Okay, I... There's a pirate that just decided to come say hi. I was... Alright. Not what I was expecting. There's two pirates that just, like, came by and started attacking me. I was just hanging out and uh, eating some mac and cheese. And then, but bam everybody's just starting to shoot at me. Well, it's fine. They're weak-ass pirates, so it's not a big deal. Ugh, definitely makes me want to grab some better, better bits. Wait, did I have a... Did I have an ally that was shooting there? I did, I think. Alright. There's definitely another thing shooting elsewhere. Alright. Nope. Mac and cheese has been consumed. Oh. I guess we're close enough to the planet that we don't warp. That's eh, fine. All right. Let's hit up this planet, see if it's got anything interesting on it. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. I don't remember what I was actually doing the last time I was here in the series. I don't think it matters. There's probably some plot and story stuff that I've totally forgotten to do. But I think chances are what I would do is just go to another solar system. And just check that out instead. It looks like this area is kind of... Ooh, okay. I think this has got some of the, some of the more dramatic terrain that they were going for. It's getting there. It's still not perfect, but it's better. I think they also updated the music, so it's more interesting. Yeah, this definitely feels more varied than it used to be. Less slopes. What's this thing? Oh, it's just a broken tech module. They are kind of easy to spot. Yeah, there are just falling stars now. I have no idea if they actually lead to anything interesting, though. Nor do I think I really want to spend any time on this planet. Alright, so let's, uh... Go figure out where the... Space station is. And let's go... Let's go dump off some stuff. I don't actually want to go to the anomaly. I 
but yeah. Go back, dump some stuff off, go to a new system and start looking around. Because I think that's what I'm going to do, at least for this sub-series of No Man's Sky. I'm just going to wander. And I'll definitely do more interesting things here and there, you know, the occasional derelict when we go by. I have yet to actually see if it's terribly worthwhile, but you know what? If it isn't, oh well, it was a nice, it was a nice diversion. I think that's it. No Man's Sky should almost just be a series of interesting diversions left and right that makes up a greater whole than any one thing, one singular thing. Okay. Grab that. Head for that space station. I also... I know I need to... Oh, but we need starship fuel. I want to start sending my freighter out on missions and get some more freighters, but I actually haven't done that yet. At least not in this iteration. I, I know my previous... My No Man's Sky Beyond iteration uh, had started to do that sort of thing before I kind of slowly lost a little bit of interest. Okay. Right. We also want to make an emerald drive. Well, how many, how many nanites am I... <laughs> okay, we should swing by the anomaly. Alright, guild envoy. So I guess we have access to this now. What's up? Lost in space, disconnected. Ahew, a terrible fate. Carapaces will be respected. Should traveler entity wish to share what they know. Cell manifest. Alright, that's some, that's some nanites. Doesn't, doesn't look like it was too much. Oh, this is the cartographer. I know I can trade for maps and purchase maps, but I don't think I actually care about that one too much. At least not right now. I right, browse missions. Hey, I do have missions. Some of these are in progress. Can't do the rest. Eh, it's fine. To be honest, I will just pick up whatever looks easy. I'm not going to go out of my way for them anymore. I could, but I got other, I got other solutions. I, I, w I will repeat this uh, as many s times as I need. But my one of my resolutions this year—that's an absolute trashville of a multi-tool. Oh, add slots and improve class. Okay, so we need a multi-tool expansion slot. A new slot is. 50 million and upgrade classes 50,000. Uh what is my what is my multi tool? It's an A class and it's got a decent chunk of slots. I would like to find one with a better aesthetic though. Okay. Uh have I done this while I'm here? Yes, already done that one. What about you? Upgrade starship. Fifty thousand nanites. It's an A-class, yeah? Yeah. Well. Alright, let's just, uh... Let's go talk to the salvage guy, see what we get, and we'll just continue on. Hi. Okay, sell captain's log. So I get... Decent chunk of nanites. Doesn't look like I got any money for it, though. Okay, and I could I could acquire coordinates, purchase old scrap for pugnium. Suspicious bolt caster. Oh, module is flexible, and exact upgrade statistics are unknown until installation is complete. Interesting. So you can get even more varied modules that might be better? Who knows? Okay, other thing to check, seeing as I've got a ton of nanites, let's check exosuit tech. What am I sitting on? Let's see, per personal refiner would be nice. Looks like the rest of these are not super necessary. Let's talk to this guy if I can. If I, there we go. Okay, what can we buy? Underwater protection module, movement, upgrade module. 
I don't remember what the limitations on, on those are. The, the one consideration is always... What if I got... Uh, I, I think there was a mod that I've see, seen. That's a big one. There's definitely a couple of mods that I've seen as I... As I've just played No Man's Sky. I think one of them makes it so that there's no cap on the amount of tech modules that you can install. And there's there's a serious temptation to that one. Alright, do we go to the anomaly? I Yes. We wanted to go... At least purchase the blueprint for the Emerald Drive. And then we'll switch to a completely different solar system. We'll have to kind of dance around where the exotic ship wants us to go. But that's that's fine. I'll leave that for later. Let's see. What else what else do we do? I don't know. It's it's super weird playing this game in a piecemeal manner because I have to almost remind myself what I was doing last so I can focus on them. It'd be kind of nice if you could write down a, a task list or like, hey, I, I'm not going to play this for a while. Here's what I need to focus on next time. I guess I can work on that outside of game, but it would be nice if I could do it inside the game. No, that's not what I want. Stupid person standing right in front of there. Okay, so we want to get Emerald Drive, which actually is not too expensive. We need Cadmium, which I haven't seen. Did they add more character customization? That's the other thing I should probably check out. Okay, Starship upgrades. So I got those. Do I want to just pick up everything else? Maybe. I'll get the economy scanner. I don't know if I'm immediately going to use that. Let's see. Pulse drive fuel efficiency, and then there's a pulse drive power. I'm going to probably blow a lot of nanites here. But once I've unlocked all of these, then we never have to do this again. Because I'm not honestly sure if I'm ever going to start over with No Man's Sky. It's... It's tempting to do so every, every patch, just because I know a number of people might not want to go back to my older series. On the flip side, the easiest way for me to lose my love for this game is by playing it over and over and over again. Instant hyperdrive. Ah. So that's for potentially warping out of combat. I should probably look into weaponry, but I'll leave that for later. We've got some other things to potentially research. I don't have any sal salvage data, so I guess that's pointless. Oh. Your actual exosuit research. I don't want to invite any more players to my party, because that's pointless. And why do it? The airborne recharging. Could be interesting, especially if we get enough upgrades. Okay, rocket boots. Huge leaps with the ease. I, all of these are just super tempting sounding. Okay, efficient water jets. Yeah, I'll just kind of pick up whatever. A number of these we're gonna have to go way out of our way to get more of, but that's okay. So simple translator, I don't think I care about that too much. Extra breathing efficiency. The problem is equipping all this stuff is an annoyance. So I might just leave it, leave that alone for a little while. Huh. Aeration membrane in the exosuit to harvest oxygen from the life support system in the event of a breathing emergency. Allowing the user to resurface and seek conventional fuel supplies. Long-term conversion of life support energy to breathable gas is not required recommended may result in life no longer being supported. Huh. I... That's dark. I'm gonna leave that. We've got some more stuff to look at. Right. There, yeah, I already got this one. Can I... I don't remember the chat window being a thing. Can I... 
text chat. Maybe we don't get a choice. Well, we're in here. It doesn't seem like anybody's really saying anything. Alright. What about multi-tool upgrades? Absolutely optical drill. Not that I'm mining too much. Ooh. Not that I can afford that. What else is there? Geology cannon, bolt caster ricochet module. So that's a shot. No, that's the shotgun. I think this is the, yeah, that's the machine gun. Then there's the blaze javelin. Solar mirror. I'd swear some of these are new. Well, I guess I, I'm just gonna purchase them for a little bit. I wanted to go check out some new planets, but it looks like uh, today's a bit more of a managerial episode. You know what? In that case, here, here's what I'm gonna do. We don't have enough time. Or, I mean, we have all the time in the world if I want to waste it. But instead of me sitting around buying stuff today and, and doing stuff that I should have probably done before this episode or on a later episode or just, you know, when I'm not recording, holy shit. That jetpack booster is no slouch. Let's get out of here. Let's warp to a new system and figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, galaxy map. Here we go. So it wants me to go here, but I need an emerald drive to do so. Now, is this telling me? No. Oh, that's the information, whether there's combat or not. I guess let's just go to Yawat. Ooh. I think it I think it was even giving me a like a solar map before I started going. I don't remember seeing that in the past. I, I know they updated the UI in a lot of ways. Like, the, the menus, I haven't even shown them off yet, but they look a lot nicer. It's still kind of dense to to sift through, but it is what it is. This is still quite possibly one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. By a long shot. Yeah, so they haven't changed this too much. It's about the same. I think the colors are different. This is where they did some updates. I don't remember it being quite as blue and gold, but I like it. So a lot of unknown planets can see stuff here. Okay, this is definitely, it's a lot of information, but it feels better to me. Easier to understand. Sort of. Still got a long way to go. All right, so what do we do? This planet has a lot of water. The landmass looks gray as heck, but that might not be a bad. Like, it might actually look pretty cool once we get down in here. Right. I'm going too slow. It looks very mountainous. Oh, uh, please be a cool planet. Glinked. What a planet. What a name. Well, it's certainly an odd duck. And yeah, the new flora definitely looks better. Still not quite sure if this is a planet I want to spend too much time on. That said, I'm kind of curious about some of this stuff. Yeah, let's hop out. Let's take a look around. I think I have the... I think I have the refuel... the thruster refuel thing anyway. So we're on a decaying nuclear planet. Gotcha. There's also a crystal there. So what is this? Just a bunch of cobalt. We don't have the train manipulator. Man, I have been slouching. I can... Yeah, I can move this tech. Oh, but that is the train mani manipulator. Okay, so I did get a bunch of these. Perfect.
Okay, mining beam. I think everything is good. Right. But that's what I was going to do. I was going to install... Oh. Faster scan tool might be useful. I guess I don't have it. Oh, and I can't I can't even make it. I can install it, but I don't have the re requisite stuff. So I'm going to get the waveform recycler. Cuz I can do that and I can make one of these. I definitely can make an ion battery, right? Nope. I lack the cobalt. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, it is what it is. Interesting. Yeah, what the hell is this? Chlorine. It's a giant chlorine crystal. It looks really cool. I the moving texture is a little unsettling, but it looks really cool. Oh. What are these things? I don't know. They're chlorine jellyfish thingamadoos. Ow. 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 Okay, I'm just gonna scan this real quick. Ow. Wait, that's... that's flora? Apparently so. Anything else for me to scan? Okay. Weird stuff. Weird planet. Still not quite what I'm looking for. It's... What I'm honestly looking for is like a really mountainous, grassy planet, or one with mountains. Well, with mountains, grass, or volcanoes. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry, I'm on loop. Brain's not quite here. I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. What I want to do next is probably go back to the ship and save. Because I think we've seen enough. I'm loving this so far. It's going to take a while, I think, before we really get to see everything, and it might even take multiple series. But it's kind of fun to come back to No Man's Sky with every patch and be like, yeah, what is new? And then play for maybe 10 hours and then stop. And then rinse repeat a bunch. All right, well, let's, let's save. Perfect. All right. One way or another, I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky, where we will try and find some more interesting planets. I want to fly into a volcano. That's what I want to do. Oh, you... Can you even see? No, I was really hoping it would actually have like a uh, a silhouette of what some of the creatures look like. That's a really dumb looking creature. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I'm going to be playing a lot of No Man's Sky over the years.